after the sex, it would turn kind of violent. I'd start uh, kind of torturing him a little and stuff like that. Uh, How would you torture him? Uh, In your fantasies, what would you do? Sticking large objects in their anus, uh, causing them pain that way. I had some uh, long barbecue skewers I bought. I was going to poke through their cheeks. I've got a... uh, in that bag of porn, there's also a Barbie doll head I found on the ground a while back that I stuck some needles in. Kind of illustrates what was in my fantasy. It had like some needles in its cheeks and some nails in its eyes, but I wasn't intending on doing that because I the the, the, the uh, torture was kind of a late addition because at first I wanted the body to be pretty much unharmed because uh, what I was going to do after that then was I was going to. Uh, while they were still alive and gagged, I was going to uh, drape them over the bathtub and cut off their head. And uh, then hang them there and let the body all drain out, good and drained out. And I was going to keep the body around for a couple of days. I was going to set the head on my desk so it could, like, watch me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, keep the corpse in my bed, sleeping with it, having sex with it for a day or two. And then I was going to start butchering them and cooking them. So, okay. Did you buy any pots or any special things for that? Just the barbecue skewers and some meat tenderizer powder. And a uh, hacksaw to cut open the head to get to the brain, because I wanted to eat the brain and the heart and some of the organs. Uh, it's, it's been my experience that a lot of people who like or think about those kind of things maybe experiment with animals. Have you ever experimented with animals? No, uh, I told the guy earlier, in fact, you know, this, like I've said, this is just entirely against my nature. And if, you know, I told him I'm not really religious, but what beliefs I do have would be uh, pretty much best described as Buddhist. And I hated, I, I didn't even like stepping on bugs. You know, I didn't believe in violence or anything okay. until this happened. Okay. So. Now, after, after you chop the head off, maybe cooked them and slept. What, what would you, could you can you continue on from there? Uh, well, uh, then it went into, you know, disposing of the body. I was probably going to keep the skull. Uh, but then, you know, I was going to pretty much eat everything, except for some of the organs and those I figured I could, you know, put in a trash bag and probably throw away without too much uh, chance of getting caught. Uh, and uh, so basically all that'd be left was bones. And I was going to, uh, try to, you know, break the bones up into little pieces so they wouldn't be as visible and, you know, dump them in a ditch somewhere. Okay. Or if, you know, then, then well, that, that was my original plan. That's what I wanted to do, but, you know. And did you ever write any of this down on yeah. your computer? Yeah. Because you know they're going to go through your computer really good. Yeah, I know, yeah. I already deleted, like, as soon as, uh, I never had anything wrote down, but I already deleted, uh, a lot of the porn and stuff off my computer. After this happened? Yeah, as soon as, like, the cops, you know, started sniffing around, like... Uh, Asking. Because uh, all, all, all the porn's there, but I had a lot of, uh, in the last couple of months, I had been to a bunch, you know, there's a lot of websites out there where you can download, like, crime scene photos, like real dead bodies and stuff like that, right. and I had a fairly large collection of those. I deleted, like, all of those. Okay. And uh, I, I never had any child pornography, but... And it might still be on there, because I think I put it in a different directory than the rest of the porn. I had just a couple, like four or five pictures I downloaded from, like, a children's swimwear catalog of, like, ten-year-old girls in swimsuits. But that's the closest I ever had to, like, any child pornography or anything. Do you, do you, I'm sorry, do you have, do you have anything on your computer, um, like, you know, you're sure that you destroyed that stuff? Or did you just go... Yeah, three, so it could yeah, still they, be a burn on your hard drive. Yeah, they say none of that's permanent unless they, well, they claim there's programs now that can make it permanent. But no, all I did was, uh, you know, dragged it to the trash bin and hit, you know, empty trash bin. So it can most likely be recovered, probably. Okay, you didn't go. With, I, I forgot what it's called. It starts with an N, but there's a there's a certain program that yeah, if you use that, you can you can really wipe stuff out. Yeah, but you didn't know, go through yeah, that trouble. There's programs like that all over. I see advertised, but no, I don't have any of those. And, Okay, they're going. They're going. Think about this. They're really going to pull this stuff up. When did you think you first started downloading this kind of stuff? Because they're going to know for a fact. Yeah. Well, 
the cannibalism thing started uh, probably a year or so ago. Uh, might have been while I was on the medication the first time, but I'm not sure. I don't think so, but it might have been. Now, Kevin, for the record, you're currently taking your medication, is that correct? Yeah. Did you take it today? Yeah. And you say it works for you? It certainly it doesn't really help with the anxiety. I'm still, well, I'm still shy, and I still can't really talk to people. But I don't have, like, the panic attacks, and I don't get depressed about, you know, not... Not having a social life. Well, are you aware of your actions and fully un in, in understanding of what you're doing? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, so you can't... But I think it might have, like, you know, maybe, like, lowered my inhibitions a little or something like that, you know. Maybe so. You might have... He recognizes what you're doing as being against the law. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, is there any questions that you have about that? No. You know, I know what I did was wrong, and you know, I know that I deserve to be punished for it. So the, the deal with cannibalism may have been a, a song for you, but... Yeah, but, I mean, it, was, it wasn't something I was... I mean, you know, I was kind of interested in, you know, kind of curious as to what it would taste like, and, uh, you know, it kind of aroused me, and I, you know, kind of masturbated to some of the pictures, because, I mean, there was this website I found, I don't even remember what it is now, where you could download lots of, you know, like, fake computer graphic images of, like, women on spits and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and, you know, cooking over a fire or whatever. And you found and it sexually arousing. Yeah, I okay. very. Uh, but it was the thought of killing someone, though, at the same time. It was, in my mind, it was like, well, I'd only do it, you know, if the woman, you know, wanted to die and wanted to, me to eat her. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't, you know, go out and kill someone, you know, murder's wrong. I wouldn't ever murder someone. Okay. That's, you know, the way I thought at the time. Okay. But um, I've been surfing internet porns for probably 12, 13 years. And, you know, there's a lot of weird stuff on the internet. And so as the years went by, you know, I just kind of got uh, kind of desensitized mm -hmm. to normal porn and just had to keep going after like harder and harder core stuff until it until it finally yeah, got to kind of this cannibalism point mm -hmm. and then here recently after that i started to you know like kind of seriously think about it and uh you know develop an interest in these pictures of real death and cannibalism and have you ever read gore and gruesome things and have you ever read um, psychology books or internet sites and just out of curiosity reading about people with like interests or to say, hey, you know, somebody like me who, of likewise people who would get sexual gratifications out of, you know, out of possible cannibalism or, or viewing women on spits or things well, like that. Well, that, that site, yeah, that I downloaded, like, all the fake pictures from, it was it was a message board, mostly, and picture, uh, you know, it was mostly text, but people would, uh, it's like, here, you know, here's this picture I made with my computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, you know, it, so it was all, like, people with the same interests and, you know, Pretty much, probably 95% of them, uh, from what they said on there anyway, were of the same mindset as me. You know, I would never do this, but it's fun to fantasize about. It's a, it's a fun yeah. fantasy. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's an interesting fantasy that gets me off. But I would never kill anyone, and given the chance, I would probably not ever actually eat someone. You know, was most of their opinions. And, uh, so you, yes. would you would masturbate if you like to this fantasy of. A camp, a cannibalization, like seeing a woman on a spit or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay. When now, what today? When did it first enter your mind that yes, I'm going to do this today? Well, not today, but I'm sorry. When you mean the day? day well, that Wednesday. I'm yeah. sorry. What, and what day was that for the record? Wednesday. You know what day of the April or uh, what are we? April. Yeah. You know, this this is the fourteenth. So and then what? The eleventh. Yeah. That's and Friday the fourteenth. Thursday the Thursday the thirteenth, uh, Wednesday the twelfth. Yeah. I'm bad with dates. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't understand. Wednesday the twelfth. Yeah. Do you know for sure it was a Wednesday? Yeah, it okay. was definitely Wednesday because I'm off on Wednesday and I was off work that day. Okay. Go ahead. I just did. Did you plan it for your day off? It was well. I, I'd been planning it. Like I said, I'd been planning it for months, buying supplies, and you know, trying to get the exact plan down of what I do and how I dispose of it afterwards. And, and the exact victim. And. Well, like I said, I kind of wanted her, but it didn't really matter. I mean, it's, that's to tell the truth. That's the main reason I was hanging out in front of my apartment is to watch all the kids and watch all the people coming on. It was, 
I, you know, I had pretty much planned all along to probably get a kid, just mainly because they'd be easier to grab and easier to get rid of afterwards, smaller, and, you know, put up less of a fight. But there was a few, you know, girls of my age, I'd be like, you know, well, she's really attractive. I wouldn't mind, you know, killing and eating her and having sex with her and all that. But uh, Did you find her attractive? Not really, no. She was kind of homely. Uh, but... Uh, that was a part of me that, yeah, kind of found her attractive, but at the same time, not really. What, is, I don't know, what, is, what did you mean by homely? Well, she, I don't know, she just had, like, she was almost bald. She had, like, really thin hair, really thin hair. And, what color was it again? Uh, just a light red. It was almost a blondish red. Uh, and, you know, she was a little chubby and, you know, just kind of wasn't my type, basically. Uh, and you said again, you thought, how old was she? I, I would have sworn she was at least 12, maybe 13. So, so you were pretty confident you knew she was a kid. I mean, there wasn't any question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the kids that I, uh, when I when I was first thinking about it, you know, I was like looking at, you know, like five-year-old boys running around out there playing all day. So, I mean, the age and the gender didn't really matter to me. Now, when did you come up with Wednesday would be the day? Basically, the incident had happened. I mean, I said, there had been, there was plenty of times before that I could have grabbed her if I wanted, or grabbed some other kid, but especially her, because, uh, like I say, she got to where she talked to me, and she'd actually been in my apartment a couple of times before that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, when she'd come down, because, like, one time I was standing out there with my pet rat, holding it, and had it on my shoulder, and, you know, she thought it was cute, and she wanted to pet it. And then, like, later that evening, I was, still had my front door open, but I was, like, sitting on the couch watching TV, and she just kind of wandered into my apartment and you know said, "Can I pet your rat?" So, uh, you know, she seemed like a very trusting kid. You know how long ago that was? To put it in perspective, for me, a week, week, maybe two, probably about a week. Uh, but yeah, she was a very trusting kid. If it hadn't been me, it could have ended up being someone else. Because like I said she just kind of wandered into my apartment. With, I didn't you know force her in there or even ask her in. And so she came in for a few minutes and, you know, looked at my rat and fed it a food pallet. And then uh, Tuesday night, the night before this happened, she came down. Uh, I guess her, I guess they didn't have a phone upstairs because I'd see her occasionally go to, there's like a pay phone on the other side of the compound. She'd go down there and use that. And she was going down there to, uh, her father sent down there, sent her down there to uh, call Mazio's and order some pizza for her. And, but I was standing there in my doorway and she's just like, well, you know, can I use your phone? And so I might have used my phone. She stayed outside, though. She's like, well, I don't want to get in trouble for coming into your apartment. So she did you step have a in. You cordless phone? Yeah, okay. she, st- she stepped in for a minute. But then, like, once I gave her to the phone, she was like, well, I better get outside. And so, you know, I had plenty of chances to get her. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, every time I'd, I'd be thinking, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. I want to get her, definitely her. But then I'd see her and, you know, be oh, I'm going to get her this time. And then be like, then I'd see her though, and like, no, I can't hurt her. You know, all that. And I mean, that happened pretty much every kid. But I, you know, kind of wimp out at the last minute. Uh, but especially her, because I kind of liked her. Uh, but then, yeah, this Wednesday she came in. Now she came home from school. Let me ask you this real quick. Going back to Tuesday night, and she came into your house and used the phone yeah. during the overnight hours when you were home and um, into the next day. Did did you? Engage in any fantasy on the internet. I mean, did that kind of turn you on? The thought of yeah, I could have almost done it. But I, and did you fantasize about it over that night, or did you go to websites the night and then in the morning till the next day? No, uh, I hadn't been to any of the websites really recently because I just downloaded a bunch of the pictures of the hard drive and mm-hmm. looked at it. So I hadn't really been to any of the websites, and well, you, most of it had probably been a week or more. So. Were you looking at it on, on your hard drive? Yeah.